here they have like a code of honor, right? And yeah, uh, it's called the yeah. it's it's called the uh, canon. And then and then and then and, and there's like kind of rules that they have to live by. Yeah, it's the canon. It's the canon of Luca okay. Dinagini. Yeah, it's it's phenomenal. I've read I've read it three times. It's a big volume. Uh, it, it it's their code of behavior. Okay. That super that supersedes any governmental uh, authority or any church authority. This is their culture. What are and some of the, what are some of the tenets of that, Lewis, if you don't mind? Well, honor. Uh, yeah. What's called the Bessa is their word of honor. Yes. Uh, the be, Bessa is. Uh, let me give you a quick example of Bessa. Yeah. A woman, uh, a man knocks on the woman's door and says, "Can you please hide me? The police are chasing me." And he hides. She hides him. She gives him protection in her home. Hides him under the mattress. And the cops come in and say. Have you seen a young man running here? No. Well, he just shot your son and killed him three blocks from here. Wow. No, I haven't seen him. Wow. Because she gave her word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good story, but it's factual. Yeah. They yeah. they give their word, and you're under their protection. Uh, but they also have a thing called hakmadia or jakmadia, and that, that is that that is their vendetta. Like you know, the Sicilians have the blood vendetta. Correct. But but with, with with the Albanians, it goes a lot deeper. And it goes for generations, generations. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I have a friend who was, uh, uh, and it's a blood it's a bloodletting. You have to you have to take back blood, which is what that word means. I have a friend who, in 1951, his father was killed in a skirmish in Albania, and uh, later on in that day, well, first he killed he killed the the captain of the other side. Later that day, after they took a break and they went back to fighting. He was killed, but my friend is 60, well, he's 75 years old. And when he goes back to Albania, he has to have all of his cousins protect him because he's still under the Hakmadia from that family. They're still looking to kill him. And that was uh, 70 years ago. It's a little bit different, but uh, they're wonderful people. People always say the Albanians are crazy. They're not crazy. Yeah. They're just very, very different. Um, and they're very aggressive and they're very smart people. I have a lot of Albanian friends. God bless. So, okay. So you grew up in the Bronx, you yeah. know, successful career. Um, one thing I, I like about your trajectory is you did work for somebody for a while before you worked for yourself. Cause I yeah. have people all the time. I have people all the time that come to me and they're like, well, I want to start my own business. And I'm like, well, you make 170 grand a year, make money, do, do your side hustle on the, on the side. If you love doing it, right. Make right. 170, do it for 20 years, put money away. So when you, when you go to start your business, you got 300 K to lose. You, you know what I mean? Like, right. so I like the fact that you were able to kind of, I call it an entrepreneurship where it's internal, less risk, less yes. reward. You know, you didn't make seven figures maybe per year per se, but you grind it out brick by brick. You put some shekels together and then you strike, which I love. And then that's, that's um, really redeemable, which I like. So, you know, writing's a passion of love. You know, do you, do you self-publish? Are you hooked up with a publishing house? Do you shop them around? Go through your, your writing process. Well, I started looking at uh, publishing companies 15, 18 years, well, 15 years ago. And I found them all to be either con artists or... <laughs> uh, so, so what I did was I started my own publishing company. And That's uh... Vecchia Publishing. Vecchia Publishing? Yeah, that's the name of it. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I can't right now. All right. We we are kindred spirits. So I don't talk about it a lot. Um, I'm a best-selling author as well. Two editions of the X Factor Selling System. Wow. After I did the first book through a vanity press, what did I do? I created my own publishing house. And there it is, the name of my company. I am self truly not only self-published, but um created my own publishing house. I did it through uh what was it? Um, uh, Ingram. Yeah, we're on Ingram. We can get yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm on all that. I, I, I use Book Baby now. I find Book yeah, Baby. Book Baby really is good. Book ba See, it's a different. See, I love that the barriers to entry. So, so, so for those watching, and Lewis, I, I, I won't speak out of school. I'll have you correct me. But if Lewis wants, he goes to a big company. He goes, Hey, I'm going to write.